everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making orange cupcakes with an orange buttercream frosting. So the best thing to do is um, measure out all your ingredients before you start. It'll go really fast, okay? So in a bowl I have a cup of butter and one and a half cups of sugar and I'm going to beat that until it's light and fluffy. While that's beating, let's get our dry ingredients together. We need two and a half cups of cake flour. It must be cake flour one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm just going to whisk that together. Now let's move on to our wet ingredients. You're going to need two large eggs, three quarter cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of orange zest, three quarter cup of milk, a quarter cup of orange juice, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Now, once you're done um, zesting your oranges, just make sure you don't get any of that pith, the stuff right below the skin. Keep that all out because we're going to use it for our buttercream, okay? So I'm just going to mix this until it's light and fluffy. Alright, once your sugar and butter is beaten, make sure you keep scraping down the sides and the bottom of your bowl. We're going to add all our liquid ingredients. the milk. This is the egg and vanilla I put together. Here's my zest. Quarter cup of the orange juice. And three quarter cup of your sour cream. So you're going to want to start out really slow with this because all of this liquid will fly all over your kitchen. I'm going to use my old my trick that I always use and I'm going to use a clean towel and I'm going to put it over my mixer like this so when if it splashes it's splashing onto my towel. I'm just going to start really slow and I'm just going to mix this till it's nice and smooth. That's really wet. Okay, I'm just going to mix this till it's really smooth. You okay, guys, um, mine took a long time to actually come smooth. And the only way I got it smooth was I took the bowl and I put it on top of the oven that's heating up for our cupcakes. And I just put it on top to heat it up a little bit. I would suggest every liquid should be room temperature when you start. It might be a lot easier. I had some um, room temperature, but it's cold in my house. I mean we live in Ohio so it's pretty pretty cold in here. So I just let it sit there for a little while until um, it got warm and then I just started beating it and it came together. Now it's nice and smooth. And just keep checking it every so often. And I just set my timer to remind me to get it off the stove. Alright, now we're going to add our dry ingredients and we're going to mix it until there's just a few lumps remain, not a lot. Remember, start out slow. Just make sure you scrape it on your bowl all the time, no matter what you're baking. Because you don't want chunks of raw flour going through your stuff. Okay, One more time, we'll clean that off and it should be ready to go. smells so good you guys. This would be great for Easter or spring. It smells very fresh. Okay, so while that's 
going, I'm going to get my hands over here. Let me just clean up a little bit. I always clean as I go, so when I'm done, I don't have so much to clean up. I hate having a ton of stuff to clean up. Okay. Got that off real quick. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill our cupcake liners to three quarters full. And what I did was these didn't fit very well and I didn't feel like going out to the store. So a trick is to set the pan on top of each other and just press down. And they won't go all the way in, but they'll, once you put your stuff in, they'll form to it instead of it being like that, okay? See, just like that. And then I put on this one. Make sure they're in the way you want them in. And just push on that. Okay. All right. This looks fantastic, you guys. Okay. Oh, and I switched to the um, whisk on this too. I was using the paddle. I usually use the paddle for all my doughs, but it just was not working with this batter, so. I've made these before and I've never had this many issues with it, but it could be that my eggs were bigger than normal or something that I used was different than I used before, but we got it, it's fine. If you run into a problem, you know, just um, go ahead and ask us a question or whatever and we'll, we'll lead you on what to do if I know what to do. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to fill these three quarters of the way full and I'm just using a um, ice cream scoop. You don't need anything fancy. And this measures out just the right amount so and see they're starting to fall in now the cup holders just give them a little bit of time and they'll fall in on their own that way you don't have like the crinkly outsides And if you do heat this on the stove, if your if yours isn't coming together, just keep checking it. Make sure it's not too hot because um, you don't want to cook your eggs. Okay. You're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 22 minutes. I would start checking it at about 15 minutes. Um, just to be safe, you want to check it with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean in the middle, they're ready to go. All right, guys, so mine took 19 minutes. The toothpick in the middle comes out clean. Now let these cool completely before you put frosting on them. And I can't tell you how much this smells delicious. Oh my God, they smell fantastic. So we're going to let these cool and then we'll move on to our frosting. Now we're going to move on to our frosting. In a bowl, you're going to put one cup of softened butter and we're going to beat that until it's nice and smooth. Make sure you scrape down the bowl. My butter is nice and soft so it won't take too long. In the meantime, while that's going, I'm going to need four cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of orange juice, two teaspoons of orange zest, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm not using orange zest in mine only because I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the yum crumbs, um, it's called orange cream on top. I'm also going to add a few drops of orange to make my um, 
costume of orange. Just to be smooth and fluffy. light and fluffy we're going to add our liquids to it so we're going to add three tablespoons of orange juice now you want this frosting to be pretty um, thick um, because you want to be able to use your tip and put it on if you're not using a tip Go ahead and just use an offset spatula or, or a um, butter knife and just frost them. It's not a big deal. Okay, and then we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. This is where you're going to add your zest. And I'm adding my color. And then we're just going to mix this. Start out slow. Well, okay. It's coming together now. Let me just scrape it one more time because all my colorings on the side of my bowl. You don't even have to add the coloring if you don't want to. It's all up to you. If you use the zest, you'll have like flecks of orange in your um, frosting. Your frosting will be pretty white though. Let's see how this looks like. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more orange. a little bit of a neon. Oh, that's pretty. And I've got a very light orange. I don't want it to look fake, too fake. Once this all comes together nicely, we will add our powdered sugar. Let's check the color. I think I can use a little bit more. Oh, I think I'll leave it. I, I think I like it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add our powdered sugar about one to two cups at a time. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time so it doesn't go all over. Make sure you mix it in between really well. Okay. 
make sure you scrape really good. powdered sugar at the end. If it's too liquidy, add more powdered sugar. Wait. If it's too thick, add more orange juice. If it's too runny, add more powdered sugar. Sorry guys. Okay. This is looking amazing. I'm going to do it real slow because i got a lot in there now. Okay, I'm going to mix this until it comes together. Okay, so I filled my bag. I started one. I just wanted to see if the frosting was at the right consistency, and it's perfect. So what I do is I just hold the bag up and down, start in the middle, and just do a little flower, and then start on the outside and work your way in, leaving equal pressure on your bag. And there you go. It's really easy. Don't be intimidated. Just work with it. It takes some trial and error, but you guys will do it. The main thing is just keep consistent pressure on that bag and don't get too close to the cupcake okay okay so here's the finished cupcakes frosted i'm going to put just a little bit of yum crumb on i put some wax paper underneath so if they, it goes all over it won't make a mess in your kitchen and i'm just going to put a little bit of yum crumb on it not much at all just for a little decoration and i left some of them plain because some people in my family do not like frosting all right so please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.